Welcome back to Hourglass. Find yourself a suitable seating position and fasten your seatbelt, because the following news may shock you. Celebrities are at the peak of their careers, but one unfortunate day they receive a positive test result for HIV AIDS and darkness covers the rest of their lives. Meet Pedro Zamora, a beacon of resilience and empowerment. From his high school days, Pedro has carried the weight of being HIV positive with unwavering courage. Instead of succumbing to fear or despair, he boldly embraced his reality, turning it into a powerful message of hope and advocacy. Pedro's journey has seen him transform from a young man grappling with his diagnosis to a dynamic spokesperson, championing the cause of living life to the fullest despite HIV. He has graced countless stages, captivating audiences with his compelling story and inspiring others to embrace their own journeys with grace and determination. Despite facing setbacks, including a decline in his T-cell count due to complications, Pedro's spirit remains unbroken. He continues to crisscross the country, spreading awareness and breaking down stigma, one heartfelt conversation at a time. In a world often overshadowed by fear and prejudice, Pedro Zamora stands as a shining example of resilience, reminding us all that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit can soar. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. In 1985, a seismic revelation shook the world when Rock Hudson bravely disclosed his HIV-positive status. This watershed moment didn't just impact the gay community, it reverberated across society, awakening a collective awareness of the HIV AIDS crisis. Hudson's disclosure shed light on the harsh realities faced not only by gay men, but also by those who unwittingly received tainted blood transfusions or engaged in intravenous drug use. Suddenly, HIV AIDS ceased to be a distant concern confined to marginalized communities it became a stark reminder of our shared vulnerability. In the aftermath of Hudson's announcement, the world grappled with newfound awareness and urgency. Stigma and discrimination collided head-on with empathy and advocacy, sparking a global conversation that transcended boundaries of sexuality, race, and socioeconomic status. Rock Hudson's courageous revelation marked a pivotal moment in history, igniting a movement that continues to drive progress in HIV AIDS awareness, prevention, and treatment to this day. His legacy serves as a reminder that in the face of adversity, honesty and solidarity can be powerful agents of change. Bill Goldsworthy, a hockey legend, faced a relentless battle against HIV, yet remained entrenched in self-destructive habits like excessive drinking, Despite being the first in his sport to confront AIDS, Goldsworthy aimed to shift the narrative away from mere sexual transmission, recognizing the disease as a broader health concern. Even after his passing, whispers and speculation about Goldsworthy's life persist, casting a shadow over his legacy. However, his courage in confronting HIV AIDS and his efforts to destigmatize the conversation surrounding the disease continue to resonate reminding us of the complexities of human struggle and the enduring impact of one's actions. What's better than starting the day with a delicious cup of tea and watching this fascinating video together? Jim Bullock, renowned for his role in Too Close for Comfort in the late 1990s, has found renewed success in recent years with his involvement in the hit show Glee. Despite his fame, Jim's journey has been shaped by his battle with HIV, a condition that has affected his life in profound ways. Remarkably, Jim belongs to the fortunate 5% of individuals whose HIV virus remains dormant, sparing him from significant health complications. However, the specter of the disease still looms large in his life, having tragically claimed the life of his longtime partner to AIDS. Jim's story serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities surrounding HIV AIDS, from the unpredictable nature of the virus to the devastating impact it can have on loved ones. Through it all, Jim's resilience shines through, a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity.
Tim Richmond, a celebrated NASCAR driver, made his mark not only on the racetrack, but also in Hollywood, appearing alongside Burt Reynolds in the film Stroker Ace. Yet, behind the glitz and glamour, Richmond's life was overshadowed by a silent threat. Speculation suggests that Richmond may have been HIV positive when he proposed to his fiancée, possibly contracting the virus as early as the late 1970s. However, due to the lengthy incubation period of HIV, it wasn't until 1986 that he received a diagnosis, shedding light on the unseen battle he had been waging for years. Richmond's story underscores the stealthy nature of HIV AIDS and the challenges of early detection in an era when the virus was still shrouded in mystery and stigma. Despite his personal struggles, Richmond's legacy endures, serving as a cautionary tale and a reminder of the importance of awareness, prevention, and compassion in the face of adversity. Dave Brindle blazed a trail as the first Canadian news anchor to bravely disclose his HIV-positive status during the daunting era of the 1980s when HIV and AIDS were often viewed as insurmountable death sentences. His courageous revelation shattered stereotypes and ignited a much-needed conversation about the disease. In 2009, Brindle's advocacy reached new heights when he took the stage as a guest speaker at the Canadian AIDS Society's World AIDS Day event, lending his voice to the ongoing fight against the epidemic. Additionally, he used his platform to host his own radio show, further amplifying awareness and fostering dialogue around HIV AIDS. Through his unwavering courage and determination, Dave Brindle not only challenged stigma but also inspired countless individuals to confront the realities of HIV AIDS with resilience and compassion. His legacy continues to serve as a beacon of hope and empowerment for those affected by the disease, proving that even in the face of adversity, one person's voice can spark profound change. Even in death, the legacy of Eric Lynn Wright, known as Easy A, continues to be shrouded in speculation and rumors surrounding the circumstances of his HIV infection and the rapid onset of AIDS before his passing in 1995. These rumors serve as a sobering reminder of the misconceptions and dangers surrounding HIV AIDS. Easy E's story highlights the importance of understanding the realities of HIV AIDS and the critical need for education, prevention, and access to healthcare. His tragic experience serves as a cautionary tale, dispelling any notion that this disease can be easily overcome or ignored. As we reflect on Easy es life and the impact of his untimely death, we are reminded of the ongoing battle against HIV AIDS and the need for continued vigilance and support for those affected by the disease. Easy es legacy lives on not only through his music, but also as a reminder of the importance of awareness and proactive measures in combating HIV AIDS in our communities. Please comment number one to let me know that you will be with us until the end of this video. In 1991, the world mourned the loss of one of rock music's most iconic figures, Freddie Mercury, whose larger-than-life persona captivated audiences around the globe. The shocking announcement of his AIDS diagnosis sent shockwaves through his fan base, bringing the reality of the epidemic to the forefront of public consciousness. Tragically, Mercury's battle with AIDS was short-lived, and he passed away soon after his condition was made public. However, his memory lives on through the enduring legacy of his music and the impactful work of his bandmates. In honor of Mercury's legacy and in recognition of the devastating toll of AIDS, his bandmates established the Mercury Phoenix Trust, a charity dedicated to raising awareness and funding for AIDS research and support. Through their efforts, the Mercury Phoenix Trust continues to make a difference in the lives of those affected by HIV AIDS carrying on Freddie Mercury's legacy of compassion and advocacy long after his passing. Robert Reed, renowned for his portrayal of Mike Brady in the beloved sitcom The Brady Bunch, exemplified resilience in the face of adversity. Despite being diagnosed with HIV, Reed refused to let the disease define him or overshadow his illustrious career. With unwavering determination, 
Reed continued to pursue his passion for acting, leaving an indelible mark on both television and film. While he may be best remembered for his iconic role in The Brady Bunch, Reed's talents extended far beyond the small screen, with memorable performances in movies such as Indy Jones and BL. Throughout his life, Reed courageously kept his HIV diagnosis a secret, choosing to focus on his craft and the joy it brought him, rather than allowing his illness to dictate his narrative. His ability to persevere and thrive, despite facing significant challenges, serves as a powerful reminder that one's true legacy is not defined by circumstances, but by the strength of character and the impact they leave on the world. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two, I will change it if I know you hate it. Following the band's move to Cedar, significant changes occurred within the group. Tom Fogarty's departure from the band marked a pivotal moment, leading to a fracture that was never fully healed, despite the success of its like Proud Mary and Have You Ever Seen the Rain? The rift between Tom Fogarty and the band stemmed from a variety of factors, including creative differences and personal conflicts. Despite efforts to reconcile, the wounds remained deep, preventing a complete restoration of their former camaraderie. Although Creedence Clearwater Revival continued to enjoy commercial success and critical acclaim, the absence of Tom Fogarty left an undeniable void within the band. Nevertheless, their enduring legacy and timeless music continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, serving as a testament to their talent and influence in the world of rock and roll. Howard Rollins, acclaimed for his talent and versatility, earned recognition with a nomination for Best Supporting Actor at the Emmy Awards. His compelling portrayal on the soap opera Another World in 1982 opened doors to roles that reflected the depth of his talent, reminiscent of his notable debut in the film Ragtime. Tragically, Rollins' life was cut short by complications stemming from his HIV-positive status, ultimately succumbing to lymphoma. Despite facing adversity, Rollins enduring legacy lives on through his groundbreaking performances, serving as a testament to his immense talent and profound impact on the world of entertainment. John Curry, the 1,976 Olympic champion, renowned for his innovative blend of ice skating and ballet revolutionized the sport with his unparalleled skill and artistry on the rink. His visionary approach captivated audiences worldwide, elevating figures skating to new heights. Tragically, Curry's life was cut short at the age of 44. After receiving a diagnosis of HIV, he made the courageous decision to return to England from New York, where he sought to confront the stigma surrounding the disease. In his final days, Curry advocated for openness and honesty about living with HIV, urging others to speak out and demystify the diagnosis. His bravery and determination to challenge misconceptions and foster understanding continue to inspire, leaving a lasting impact on the figure skating community and beyond. Curry's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of authenticity and advocacy in the face of adversity. To dispel the misconception that HIV slash AIDS affects only men, consider the case of Amanda Blake, best known for her role as Miss Kitty on the iconic television series Gunsmoke. Despite her official cause of death being listed as throat cancer, Blake was also HIV positive, a fact that highlights the disease's indiscriminate nature. Moreover, Blake's husband was also HIV positive, underscoring the reality that HIV slash AIDS can affect individuals from all walks of life regardless of gender or social status. Their shared experience serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of awareness, prevention, and compassion in the fight against HIV AIDS. By shedding light on Blake's story, we not only honor her memory, but also continue the conversation about HIV AIDS, emphasizing the need for education, support, and solidarity in addressing this global health challenge. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video.
Kevin Peter Hall, a towering figure in both Hollywood and television, captured audiences' hearts with his memorable performances. From portraying the lovable Harry and Harry in The Hendersons to the menacing Predator in the sci-fi classic of the same name. Standing at an impressive 7 feet 2 inches, Hall's physical presence was as distinctive as his talent. Tragically, Hall's life took a devastating turn in 1991 when a car accident necessitated blood transfusions, leading to him contracting HIV. Despite his diagnosis, Hal continued to grace screens both big and small, showcasing his versatility as an actor on various TV shows and films. His story serves as a stark reminder of the dangers and consequences of HIV AIDS, even for individuals as beloved and seemingly invincible as Kevin Peter Hall. Though he may no longer be with us, his legacy lives on through his iconic performances and the awareness his story brings to the ongoing battle against HIV AIDS. In a poignant interview, Robin Crosby expressed his desire to spare others from the emotional upheaval of discovering they were HIV positive. Despite facing his own health challenges, including potential effects on his immune system, Crosby remained steadfast in his commitment to humanity. The weight of his condition and the stress it brought never detracted from Crosby's authenticity as a human being. He continued to navigate life with resilience and grace, refusing to let his diagnosis define him or dampen his spirit. Crosby's unwavering determination to raise awareness and support others in similar situations serves as a testament to his strength of character and compassion. His legacy reminds us of the importance of empathy, advocacy, and solidarity in facing adversity and supporting those affected by HIV AIDS. Isaac Asimov, the visionary science fiction writer, left behind a legacy that transcends time. Ten years after his passing in 1992, a revelation emerged from his wife, shedding light on a significant contributor to his death, a blood transfusion during a heart bypass surgery. What adds an ironic twist to Asimov's story is his early support for the LGBT community back in the 1960s. At a time when such advocacy was rare, Asimov stood as an ally, championing equality and acceptance. The irony lies in the fact that despite Asimov's progressive views and contributions to social change, the doctors involved in his care chose to conceal the truth about the blood transfusion, denying him and his loved ones the transparency and dignity they deserve. Asimov's story serves as a reminder of the complexities of human existence and the importance of transparency and accountability in medical care. Even in death, his legacy continues to provoke thought and reflection on the values he espoused and the ideals for which he stood. Gia Karangi, revered as the world's first supermodel, captivated the fashion world with her mesmerizing presence and striking beauty. From humble beginnings working at her father's restaurant to gracing the covers of prestigious magazines like Vogue in the US, Britain, France, and Italy, Karangi's ascent to stardom seemed unstoppable. However, amidst the glitz and glamour of the fashion industry, Karangi's life took a tragic turn when she was diagnosed with HIV in 1985. Her journey serves as a poignant reminder that neither fame nor fortune could shield her from the devastating effects of the virus. Karanji's risky lifestyle, marked by drug use and unhealthy choices, eventually took its toll on her career and personal life. Despite her unparalleled success on the runway, her demons caught up with her, leading to her career faltering and her descent into a life of abuse and homelessness. Her story serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the dangers of addiction and the importance of prioritizing health and well-being. Karangi's legacy lives on as a symbol of both the allure and pitfalls of fame, and as a reminder of the need for compassion and understanding in the face of adversity. Holly Johnson, the charismatic frontman of Frankie, goes to Hollywood, faced a life-altering diagnosis of HIV in 1991. Over the years, he has confronted not only the challenges of living with HIV, 
but also the development of diabetes as a side effect of his condition. Remarkably, despite the complexities of his health journey, Johnson finds himself amazed and grateful to still be alive 23 years after his diagnosis. This remarkable longevity stands as a testament to both the advancements in medical treatments for HIV and Johnson's resilience in coping with the condition. Johnson's story serves as a powerful tribute to the progress made in HIV treatment and management, as well as to his own strength and determination in facing adversity. His resilience and perseverance continue to inspire others, offering hope and encouragement to those living with HIV and other chronic illnesses. In a bold move to dispel rumors and speculation surrounding his health, Charlie Sheen, the newest member of those publicly disclosing their HIV status, took proactive steps to address the issue head-on. He penned a letter and made a television appearance to courageously announce that he is HIV positive. Since his disclosure, Sheen has demonstrated a commitment to managing his condition by adhering to medication regimens. As a result, recent blood tests have shown no detectable signs of the virus, underscoring the effectiveness of modern treatments in controlling HIV. Sheen's decision to speak openly about his diagnosis not only helps to combat stigma and misinformation surrounding HIV, but also serves as a reminder of the importance of regular testing, treatment adherence, and destigmatizing conversations about HIV slash AIDS. His journey highlights the progress made in HIV management and the power of transparency and education in empowering individuals to take control of their health. Sheen's courage and advocacy continue to inspire others affected by HIV and contribute to the ongoing fight against the virus. Magic Johnson, who turned 56 in 1991, has now been publicly living with HIV for 24 years. His longevity and continued health stand as a testament to the effectiveness of modern medications and his unwavering commitment to adhering to them. Johnson's resilience and determination to manage his condition have defied expectations and shattered stereotypes surrounding HIV. His public advocacy and open discussions about living with the virus have helped to educate and empower others, demonstrating that HIV is not a death sentence. Indeed, Johnson's journey serves as a beacon of hope for those living with HIV showing that with proper treatment and care, individuals can lead long and fulfilling lives. His legacy extends beyond the basketball court, inspiring millions worldwide to embrace life with courage and optimism in the face of adversity. In the 1980s, the HIV-slash-AIDS epidemic spread rapidly, regardless of social class. Black celebrities and other individuals have sacrificed in this race for status and sexuality. Their legacy is a symbol of sharpness and courage, never to be forgotten. Welcome back to Hourglass Channel. Find yourself a suitable sitting position to start your journey today. Arthur Ashe began playing tennis as a child in his hometown of Richmond, Virginia, at the age of seven. Throughout his illustrious career, he achieved remarkable success, securing three Grand Slam titles and retiring with an impressive record of 818 wins. Notably, Ashe broke barriers as the first black tennis player to win the U. S Open, the Australian Open, and Wimbledon. Additionally, his pioneering spirit led to his selection as the first black player for the United States Davis Cup team in 1963. Even after retiring in 1979, Ash continued to contribute to the sport, coaching the team to two titles in 1988. However, Ash faced an unexpected challenge when he began experiencing difficulty moving his right hand. Medical examinations revealed a mass on the left side of his brain, prompting immediate surgical intervention. Further investigations uncovered that Ash was not only HIV positive, but had also developed AIDS. It is believed that he contracted the virus from a blood transfusion during his second heart surgery in 1983, a time when blood supplies weren't routinely screened for certain contaminants. Despite his diagnosis, 
Ash chose to keep his health condition private until a newspaper revealed its intention to publish an article about his undisclosed illness. On April 8, 1992, Ash courageously held a press conference, disclosing his battle with AIDS and acknowledging that he had been aware of his condition since 1988. Tragically, Ash passed away on February 6, 1993, at the age of 49, leaving behind a legacy that transcends the realm of tennis. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. Kenny Green was indeed the lead singer of the 90SR and B group intro, and he played a significant role in writing and producing most of the group's songs. The group gained prominence after being discovered by the late Heavy D and is widely recognized for their hits such as Let Me Be The One, Ribbon In The Sky, and Come Inside. In 2001, during a phone interview while lying in a hospital bed, Kenny bravely shared his health status with the world, revealing that he was battling AIDS. Despite his courageous disclosure, the illness eventually took its toll. Three months later, on October 1, he succumbed to the disease. He was 32. Kenny Green's untimely passing marked the loss of a talented musician and songwriter whose contributions to the R&B genre left an indelible mark on the music industry. His bravery in sharing his health struggles served as a reminder of the importance of raising awareness about HIV AIDS and the ongoing need for support and compassion for those affected by the disease. Kenny Green's brave decision to share his truth serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration, encouraging openness and compassion in the face of adversity. His memory lives on, not only through his timeless music, but also through the lasting impact he made on the lives of those who were fortunate enough to hear his soulful voice and feel the depth of his emotion. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Gene Anthony Ray is best known for his portrayal of the street smart dancer Leroy Johnson in the 1980 film Fame and its television spin off of the same name, which aired from 1982 to 1987. Tragically, Gene suffered a stroke in June 2003, and he passed away from complications of the stroke five months later on November 14 in Manhattan, New York. Although he was HIV positive at the time of his death, it has not been revealed whether his demise was caused by AIDS-related complications. Gene Anthony Ray was 41 years old. Jermaine Stewart gained recognition in the 1980s as a dancer on the musical variety show Soul Train. However, he is best remembered for his biggest hit, We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off, from his 1986 album Frantic Romantic. Sadly, Jermaine Stewart passed away on March 17, 1997, due to AIDS-related health issues. He was only 39 years old. Remarkably, his grave marker remained without a tombstone for over 17 years until a dedicated fan paid for a headstone in 2014. These talented individuals left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry, and their legacies continue to be celebrated by fans worldwide. What's better than starting the day with a delicious cup of tea and watching this fascinating video together? Alan Wiggins, once a promising talent in Major League Baseball, saw his career and life spiral out of control due to a crippling addiction to hard drugs. Playing for the San Diego Padres and the Baltimore Orioles from 1981 to 1987, Wiggins showcased exceptional skills on the field. However, behind the scenes, he battled with addiction, which ultimately led to his downfall. Despite his athletic prowess, Wiggins struggled with substance abuse, resulting in erratic behavior and strained relationships within the league. His addiction worsened over time, leading to his indefinite suspension from professional baseball. This marked the tragic end of his once promising career. Shortly after his dismissal from the league, Wiggins faced another devastating blow when he was diagnosed with HIV contracted through intravenous drug use. His health rapidly declined and on January 6, 1991, Wiggins succumbed to complications of AIDS, weighing less than 75 pounds at the time of his passing. He was only 32 years old. 
Alan Wiggins' story serves as a stark reminder of the destructive power of addiction and the toll it can take on individuals and their loved ones. His untimely death serves as a sobering reminder of the importance of seeking help and support when struggling with addiction. Alvin Ailey, a trailblazing modern dancer and choreographer, made an indelible mark on the world of dance with his groundbreaking work and visionary approach. Born in 1931 in Rogers, Texas, Ailey's artistic journey led him to establish the iconic Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater in 1958 in New York City. Through his choreography, Ailey sought to celebrate and honor the richness of black culture, using dance as a medium of expression and empowerment. One of Ailey's most renowned creations is his 1960 masterpiece, Revelations. This ballet, deeply rooted in the African-American experience, remains one of the most cherished and frequently performed works in the world of dance. With its soul-stirring blend of gospel, blues, and spiritual music, Revelations continues to captivate audiences with its emotional resonance and timeless beauty. Despite his artistic triumphs, Ailey faced personal challenges, including a battle with illness. Tragically, he was diagnosed with an AIDS-related illness, which claimed his life on December 1 est, 1989, at the age of 58. Ailey's untimely passing was mourned by the dance community and beyond, yet his legacy endures as a beacon of inspiration and cultural significance. Today, the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater remains a testament to Ailey's enduring influence, continuing to honor his legacy through innovative performances and outreach programs. Ailey's commitment to diversity, excellence, and the transformative power of dance continues to inspire generations of artists and audiences worldwide, ensuring that his impact on the world of dance will be felt for years to come. Chad Kinch was a professional basketball player who notably played for the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Dallas Mavericks during the 1981-1981 NBA season. Despite his brief tenure in the league, Kinch made an impact, averaging 2.9 points per game during his time on the court. Following his departure from the NBA, Kinch faced personal challenges, including family issues, which led him down a troubled path. He struggled with drug addiction, a battle that intensified over time. Sadly, Kinch's life took a tragic turn when he contracted HIV. On April 3, 1994, at the age of 35, Chad Kinch passed away from AIDS-related complications. His untimely death served as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of both drug addiction and HIV AIDS. Despite his struggles, Kinch's legacy endures in the memories of basketball fans and those who knew him. His story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of substance abuse and the importance of seeking support in times of need. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video. Franklin Seals is renowned for his television roles, notably as Lorenzo Hollingsworth on the 1980s sitcom A Men and as business manager Dexter Stuffins on Silver Spoons. His portrayal of these characters left a lasting impression on audiences, showcasing his talent and versatility as an actor. In 1987, while working on the set of Amen during its first season, Seals developed a persistent cough, signaling health issues that would plague him for the remainder of his life. This illness prevented him from working regularly in the years that followed, impacting both his career and personal life. Tragically, on May 14, 1990, at the young age of 37, Franklin Seals passed away from complications of AIDS. His untimely death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, highlighting the devastating impact of the disease. In accordance with his wishes, Seals was cremated, and his ashes were scattered in the Caribbean Sea, a final resting place reflective of his Caribbean heritage. Franklin Seal's legacy lives on through his memorable performances and contributions to television. His talent and presence continue to be celebrated by fans and colleagues alike, 
serving as a reminder of the importance of raising awareness about HIV AIDS and supporting those affected by the disease. Howard Rollins is celebrated for his groundbreaking role as Captain Davenport in the 1984 box office Hit a Soldier Story. This performance catapulted him into the limelight and paved the way for his iconic portrayal of Virgil Tibbs on the television crime drama In the Heat of the Night, adapted from the 1967 film of the same name. The series debuted in 1988, showcasing Roland's talent as he breathed life into the character of Virgil Tibbs on the small screen. However, behind the scenes, Roland's grappled with drug addiction, stemming from personal and legal troubles that haunted him throughout his life. Despite his personal struggles, Rollins continued to captivate audiences with his performances. However, his battle with addiction ultimately led to his departure from In the Heat of the Night at the conclusion of its sixth season. He was subsequently replaced by Carl Weathers in the fall of 1996. Tragically, Rollins' health declined further, and he was diagnosed with AIDS. Just six weeks later, in 2006, Howard Rollins passed away leaving behind a legacy of talent and accomplishment in the entertainment industry. In recognition of his contributions, a wax statue of Rollins was unveiled at the Senator Theater in Baltimore. Today, the statue is housed at the Great Blacks and Wax Museum, serving as a lasting tribute to Rollins' enduring impact and legacy. Please comment number one to let me know that you will be with us until the end of this video. Kevin Peter Hall left an indelible mark in the entertainment industry with his towering presence and remarkable talent. He rose to prominence with his iconic roles in the 1987 science fiction blockbuster Predator and its 1990 sequel, where his imposing stature and commanding performance as the titular alien hunter captivated audiences worldwide. Additionally, Hall showcased his versatility as an actor in the beloved comedy film Harry and the Hendersons, portraying the gentle Bigfoot alongside John Lithgow. Behind the scenes, Hall shared his life with actress Elena Reed, known for her memorable roles as Olivia Robinson on the iconic children's program Sesame Street and Rose Lee Holloway in the popular 1980 sitcom 227. Their partnership was a testament to their shared passion for the arts and their commitment to each other. In 1990, tragedy struck when Hal was involved in a serious car accident, necessitating a life-saving blood transfusion during surgery. It was during this period of medical treatment that Hall received the devastating diagnosis of HIV. Despite his courageous battle against the illness, Hal's health deteriorated rapidly, and he ultimately succumbed to AIDS-related pneumonia on April 10, 1991, just shy of his 36th birthday. Gil Scott Heron was a visionary artist known for his unique fusion of poetry and music, crafting powerful and socially relevant lyrical content. Among his most notable works is the iconic 1970s track The Revolution Will Not Be Televised, a politically charged anthem that dissected the struggles of black Americans during that tumultuous era. In a candid 2008 interview with New York Magazine, Gil Scott Heron opened up about his personal battles revealing that he had contracted HIV after years of grappling with drug and alcohol abuse. This revelation shed light on the challenges he faced in his life, adding depth to his already impactful body of work. Tragically, Gil Scott Heron passed away on May 27, 2011, at a hospital in New York City. While the exact cause of his death remains undisclosed, it is widely acknowledged that his health struggles, exacerbated by his HIV diagnosis, played a significant role. He was 62 years old at the time of his passing. Despite his untimely departure, Gil Scott Heron's influence and legacy endure through his enduring music and profound insights. His ability to blend artistry with activism continues to inspire generations, encouraging critical dialogue and social change. Escarita also known as Escarita, was a remarkable pianist, R&B singer, and songwriter celebrated for his electrifying performances. 
His frenetic stage presence and dynamic style were influential, inspiring the legendary rock and roll icon, Little Richard. Some aficionados of music even argue that Escarita is the true originator of rock and roll, recognizing his pioneering contributions to the genre. Despite his undeniable impact on music history, Escarita's life was tragically cut short. He passed away from AIDS-related complications on October 23, 1986. His legacy continues to resonate through his innovative music and enduring influence on subsequent generations of musicians. Escarita's groundbreaking contributions to the world of music ensure that his memory lives on, cherished by fans and revered by fellow artists alike. Don't rush to escape this boring video and forget comment number two, I will change it if I know you hate it. Max Robinson was indeed the first African-American news anchor to gain prominence in the United States. He joined the Eyewitness News team for Channel 9 in Washington, D. C. in 1969 and later became an anchor for a BC News and World News Tonight in 1978, making history in the field of broadcast journalism. In economic news, the index of leading indicators, which is meant to forecast the direction of the economy, rose 1.4% in February, marking the sixth consecutive month of increase. Unfortunately, Max Robinson's health declined when he was hospitalized for pneumonia in Illinois in December 1987, leading to the discovery that he had AIDS. Despite widespread speculation about his health, he and his family chose to keep his illness private, refraining from disclosing any details to the public. However, in the fall of 1988, while delivering a speech at Howard University, Max's health deteriorated, and he was admitted to the university hospital, where he remained in critical condition for several months. Tragically, he passed away on December 23 due to complications from AIDS. Before his death, Robinson asked his family to disclose his AIDS diagnosis to raise awareness in the black community about the syndrome and the importance of treatment and education. His bravery in addressing such a sensitive issue remains a significant aspect of his legacy. Larry Riley is widely recognized for his memorable performances, notably as C.J. Memphis in the movie A Soldier's Story and as Frank Williams on the popular primetime television soap opera Knott's Landing. However, beyond his on-screen success, Larry faced a private battle with HIV. In 1990, following a diagnosis confirming his HIV-positive status, Larry made the courageous decision to continue his professional pursuits while keeping his illness hidden from the public eye. Despite the challenges he faced, including significant weight loss, Larry maintained his composure and informed his colleagues and friends that his physical changes were due to kidney failure resulting from high blood pressure. Tragically, Larry's struggle with AIDS came to an end on June 6, 1992, when he passed away at the age of 38. It was only after his death that his wife, Nina, disclosed the truth about his health condition. Larry's story is a poignant reminder of the stigma surrounding HIV AIDS and the courage required to navigate such personal battles while maintaining a public persona. Despite the challenges he faced, Larry's contributions to the entertainment industry remain a testament to his talent and dedication. His legacy continues to inspire and resonate with audiences, serving as a reminder of the importance of compassion and understanding in the face of adversity. Sylvester James Jr., renowned as the Queen of Disco, enchanted audiences with his flamboyant persona, soulful falsetto voice, and timeless hit You Make Me Feel Mighty Real. However, tragedy struck in 1985 when Sylvester's partner, Rick Cramer, was diagnosed with HIV. Despite their love, Cramer's health rapidly declined, and he passed away in 1987. Devastated by Cramer's death, Sylvester initially avoided HIV testing, despite suspecting his own infection. Months later, as he battled a persistent cough, he finally sought medical help, only to receive the devastating diagnosis of AIDS. Despite his declining health, Sylvester courageously used his platform to raise awareness and to stigmatize AIDS. 
He passed away on December 16, 1988, at 41, leaving behind a legacy of love and advocacy. In his will, he directed royalties from his music to AIDS charities, ensuring his impact continued beyond his life. Sylvester's story remains a poignant reminder of the resilience and compassion needed in the face of adversity. Charlie Barnett emerged as a comedic force in the vibrant atmosphere of late 1970s New York City, where his unique blend of humor and charisma captivated audiences. Rising through the ranks of the comedy scene, Barnett carved out a name for himself with his sharp wit and dynamic performances. His breakthrough came with notable roles such as Tyrone in the 1983 film DC Cab and the endearing Noogie on the iconic television series Miami Vice. These performances showcased Barnett's versatility and solidified his status as a beloved figure in entertainment. Tragically, Barnett's promising career was cut short when he lost his battle with AIDS on March 16, 1996, at the age of 41. His passing left a void in the comedy world, but his legacy continued to resonate. Renowned comedian Dave Chappelle has frequently acknowledged Barnett's influence on his own comedic journey citing him as a source of inspiration and admiration. Barnett's comedic brilliance and enduring impact serve as a testament to his talent and the indelible mark he left on the comedy landscape. Willie Smith is celebrated as one of the most influential young black fashion designers in history. His unexpected passing on April 17, 1987, at the age of 39 sent shockwaves through the fashion world. Initially hospitalized for shigellosis and pneumonia, it was later revealed by his attorney that Smith's death was AIDS-related. Remarkably, Smith himself was unaware of his HIV-positive status and had shown no symptoms of the virus. It wasn't until he was hospitalized that tests confirmed his diagnosis. Despite this devastating revelation, Smith's impact on the fashion industry remained unparalleled. At the time of his death, Smith's clothing company, Willywear Limited, had achieved remarkable success, grossing over $25 million in sales. His innovative designs and groundbreaking approach to fashion continue to influence designers and inspire creativity today. Willie Smith's legacy as a visionary designer and trailblazer in the fashion world endures, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Sharon Redd was indeed a multifaceted talent, known for her prowess as a singer, dancer, and songwriter. Born into a family with a deep musical background, Red's passion for singing blossomed from an early age. She honed her skills as a background vocalist, lending her voice to various artists before ultimately embarking on a successful solo career in the early 1980s. During her solo journey, Sharon Red captivated audiences with her captivating performances and infectious energy. Her disco hits, including Love, How You Feel, and In the Name of Love, soared up the charts and solidified her status as a prominent figure in the music industry. Tragically, Sharon Red's life was cut short on May 1st, 1992, when she succumbed to complications from AIDS-related pneumonia. Her untimely passing sent shockwaves through the music community, leaving behind a legacy of unforgettable music and timeless performances. Despite her premature departure, Sharon Red's contributions to music continue to resonate with fans worldwide, ensuring that her spirit lives on through her enduring artistry. David Cole stood as one of the co-founders of the legendary music group CC Music Factory, whose tunes became anthems of the early 1990s, resonating across borders and cultures. The group soared to worldwide fame with their infectious hits, Gonna Make You Sweat, and Here We Go, Let's Rock and Roll, 
dominating the airwaves and dance floors alike. Tragically, on January 24, 1995, when David was merely 32 years old, the devastating news of his passing reverberated throughout the music industry. It was announced by a fellow band member that David had succumbed to the grips of spinal meningitis after a prolonged and arduous battle. The sudden loss sent shockwaves through fans and peers alike, leaving behind a void that could never be fully filled. However, amidst the grief and mourning, whispers and speculations began to circulate within the industry regarding the true cause of David's untimely demise. Some suggested that his death might have been the result of complications arising from AIDS, a speculation fueled by the stigma and fear surrounding the disease during that era. Yet, despite these conjectures, no concrete evidence has ever surfaced to substantiate such claims. In a poignant tribute to David's memory and the mark he left on the music world, Mariah Carey, an icon in her own right, paid homage through the release of the heartfelt single One Sweet Day. Featuring the harmonious vocals of Boys I I Men, the song served as both a touching tribute to a lost talent and a testament to the enduring power of music to heal and unite in times of loss. Eric Wright, better known by his stage name Easy E E, is one of the important figures in the hip hop music industry notably one of the founders of N.W., a, a famous gangsta rap group in the late 1900 AES. However, in 1995, Eazy-E's career and his life were turned upside down by an unexpected development. He was rushed to Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles after suddenly falling to the floor while practicing music with some members of the group. The results of comprehensive medical tests clarified that Eazy-E was suffering from AIDS pneumonia, a serious medical condition that posed many challenges to his health. Even before receiving an accurate diagnosis, Eazy-E had to face unwanted reactions from the community and colleagues in the music industry. Although he tried to fight the disease, Eazy-E was unable to overcome the disease. He passed away on March 26, just one month after being hospitalized leaving a huge hole in the hip-hop culture and music community. Easy es life and death are an important piece in the evolution of hip-hop music. Even though he is no longer with us, his talent and influence still live on in the songs and memories of those who love hip-hop music. Bobby DeBarge is widely recognized as the lead singer of the R&B group Switch and as the eldest brother of the renowned DeBarge family. His distinctive falsetto vocals set him apart in the music industry and contributed to his fame. However, behind the spotlight lay a darker reality. At the tender age of 15, Bobby was introduced to heroin, igniting a destructive path of addiction that would profoundly impact his life and career. The grip of addiction took a significant toll, overshadowing his musical talents and clouding his once promising future. In 1988, Bobby's struggles culminated in a devastating turn of events when he was arrested and subsequently served time in prison for drug trafficking charges. During his incarceration, his health began to deteriorate, exacerbated by an uncontrollable cough that raised concerns among fellow inmates and prison authorities alike. It was during this tumultuous period that Bobby received the life-altering diagnosis. He tested positive for HIV. This revelation further compounded his hardships, adding another layer of complexity to his already turbulent life. Upon his release from prison in 1993, after completing a five-year sentence, Bobby's health continued to decline. Despite his best efforts to revive his music career, his once vibrant spirit was overshadowed by the relentless progression of his illness. Despite his determination to persevere, his health steadily declined, forcing him into hospice care as his family rallied around him in his final days. Tragically, Bobby DeBarge lost his battle with AIDS on August 16, 1995, at the young age of 39. His passing marked the end of a tumultuous journey, leaving behind a legacy tainted by the demons he battled 
but also celebrated for the musical brilliance he shared with the world. The video ends here. Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you. In the fight against HIV slash AIDS, celebrities have been shining torches, fighting with a strong spirit and boundless patience. From music icons like Freddie Mercury to movie stars like Rock Hudson, they are not only icons of art, but also symbols of strength and hope in the face of difficult illness. Welcome back to Hourglass Channel. Find yourself a suitable sitting position to start your journey today. Denholm Elliott, the famous British actor, has left an indelible mark on both the silver and small screens in more than 125 films and television shows throughout his illustrious career. Despite being married twice, Denholm still kept the fact that she was bisexual a secret. Tragically, he battled HIV and finally succumbed to AIDS in 1992, at the age of 65, at his home on the island of Ibiza, Spain. His passing is not only a loss to the entertainment industry, but also a heavy blow to the entire arts industry. Denholm left behind an undeniable legacy with iconic roles spanning from classic cinema to modern masterpieces. Not only is Denholm a talented actor, he also shows resilience and courage when facing life's challenges. The facts of his life, including his acceptance and battle with HIV slash AIDS, are a testament to the mental strength and determination of a man of great influence. Denholm Elliott is more than just a star. He was a beacon of strength and courage, illuminating the way for future generations both on and off screen. His journey serves as a reminder of the power of authenticity and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In 1954, on the brink of divorce, Robert Reed dropped a bombshell he was gay. Despite fathering a daughter with his estranged wife, Reed opted to bury his true identity, fearing its potential repercussions on his career. But Reed's life wasn't destined for smooth waters. In 1991, a cruel twist of fate struck when he was diagnosed with colon cancer. A mere few months later, he succumbed to the disease at the age of 59. Yet. Buried within his medical records lay another chilling revelation. Reed was HIV positive, a truth that many believed hastened his demise. The saga of Robert Reed is one of relentless struggle, veiled truths, and agonizing sacrifices. Despite the relentless onslaught of life's tribulations and the shadows of illness, Reed fought tooth and nail through every dark twist and turn. His battle, both against societal norms and physical afflictions, stands as a testament to the unyielding spirit of a man unwilling to surrender to the darkness. In the end, Robert Reed will be immortalized not just for his roles on screen, but for his unwavering courage in confronting his own truth, even as the world around him crumble. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Born in Bratislava in 1951, Andre J. Nefela is more than just a figure skater. He is a frost giant, a symbol of passion and power. With three Olympic gold medals adorning her name, Nefela has etched her legacy into the annals of history with breathtaking performances that have captivated audiences around the world. He's not just a champion on the ice. He was the embodiment of perseverance and unrelenting determination. But in 1988, Nephila's illustrious career faced a new opponent leukemia caused by complications from HIV AIDS. Despite fighting hard, Nephila succumbed to the disease the following year, at the age of 38. His untimely death shocked the global sports community, leaving a seemingly empty void, like it can't be filled. In addition to her brilliant career on the ice, Nephila's personal life is also shrouded in pain. 
Rumors swirled about romances with male figure skaters, hinting at a life filled with inner turmoil and external pressures. With truths lurking beneath the surface, Nephila must grapple with the challenges and burdens of maintaining her integrity and honor. Andre J. Nephila, a sports legend, a man driven by insatiable passion and the price he paid for fame and fortune. Although she may have left this world, Nephila's name continues to shine brightly in the hearts of fans and the figure skating community around the world. Brad Davis, the Hollywood star, wasn't just famous for his rugged good looks and acting prowess, he was also celebrated as an icon of LGBTQ plus representation in cinema. He took on numerous groundbreaking roles portraying gay characters, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen with performances in films like Midnight Express and Carell. Despite his 15-year marriage to Susan, Brad Davis' friends and family consistently denied rumors of his homosexuality. However, Within the LGBTQ plus community, he became a symbol of inspiration and empowerment. But Brad Davis' life wasn't all red carpets and stage lights. He lived a rock and roll lifestyle, facing numerous challenges and hardships. At the age of 41, he battled a debilitating illness for six years, his health and life profoundly impacted. In the end, Brad Davis passed away in 1991, a victim of the gentle yet devastating embrace of HIV AIDS. His courage in portraying gay characters and his relentless battle with illness cemented his status as a true legend. Despite his struggles, Brad Davis will forever live on in the hearts of film lovers and the LGBTQ community. In the annals of music, Freddie Mercury is likened to a giant, a giant with a voice higher than the heavens. However, behind the glamorous facade of fame lies a secret story, whispered rumors, and a battle taking place in the shadows. Diagnosed with HIV in the tumultuous year of 1987, Freddie Mercury chose to hide his illness with a cloak of silence, masking his pain with a facade of bravado. But as the years passed and the darkness grew closer, the truth could no longer be denied. In the bleak year of 1991, the world sadly watched as one of its brightest stars was snuffed out by the cruel grip of AIDS. By his side, in those final agonizing moments, was Jim Hutton, a steadfast companion who shared both the joys and sorrows of Mercury's tumultuous life. Their bond, hidden from the prying eyes of the world, still burns fiercely in the darkness a beacon of love amid the encroaching darkness. Yet even in death, controversy swirls around Mercury's legacy like a storm. Accusations of silence and secrecy echo through the halls of memory, casting a shadow over the music legend's once untarnished reputation. But amid the chaos and noise, one truth remains unchangeable. Freddie Mercury, with his soaring voice and resilient spirit, transcended the mortal world to become an eternal symbol of freedom and acceptance. Acceptance towards the LGBTQ plus community and beyond. In the dazzling world of entertainment, Liberace reigns supreme his ivory keys a symphony of luxury and extravagance. But behind that flashy exterior lies a secret. In 1987, the world was stunned when news broke that Liberace died of AIDS. This revelation sent shockwaves throughout the entertainment industry and left his legions of fans reeling in disbelief. Famous for his dazzling performances and lavish lifestyle, Liberace kept his health problems a secret convincingly publicly admitting his battle with the deadly disease. Only his closest confidants and his personal physician knew of Liberace's situation, 
yet they chose to conceal the truth in silence, shielding it from the scrutiny of friends and family. But as the final curtain rises on Liberace's illustrious life, whispers of his hidden truth begin to emerge. Chris Adler, rumored to be his former lover, bravely stepped forward, revealing not only Liberace's battle with AIDS, but also his own tragic death from the same disease in 1990, just three years after Liberace died. Their intertwined fates are a poignant reminder of the AIDS epidemic, sparking a new urgency for awareness and prevention measures in society. In death, Liberace's legacy transcended the confines of the stage, becoming a symbol of resilience and a catalyst for change in the ongoing fight against HIV AIDS. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video. In the tapestry of courage and self-expression, Pedro Zamora's thread is vivid and bold. From an early age, he accepted his identity and gender, buoyed by the unwavering support of his family. At the age of 17, Zamora faced a formidable opponent, HIV. While others might have crumbled under the weight of such a diagnosis, Zamora chose a different path. Instead of surrendering to the cruel will of fate, he resolved to use his life as a beacon of education, illuminating the darkness of HIV AIDS. Across the country, Zamora embarked on a pilgrimage of enlightenment, sharing her story and disseminating important information about the disease. He has not only become an icon of the LGBTQ community, but also an educator and influencer, constantly raising awareness about HIV AIDS. But fate, always capricious, dealt Zamora a cruel hand. In 1994, he succumbed to the ravages of the disease, his indomitable spirit extinguished by the relentless progression of HIV-related complications. Yet even in death, Zamora's legacy lives on, etched into the collective consciousness of those he touched. His impact resonated far beyond his mortal years, resonating even in the highest echelons of power. President Bill Clinton himself also paid tribute to Zamora's contributions, reinforcing his key role in the fight against HIV AIDS. Although he passed away too soon, the soul of Pedro Zamora still exists, an eternal flame illuminating the path towards a world without the darkness of discrimination and ignorance. In the tapestry of fame and fortune, Anthony Perkins' life is a tumultuous journey woven by secrets and revelations. For years, he lived in darkness, his true self hidden from the world, his heart beating to a rhythm that only he could hear. But fate intervened in 1972 when Perkins happened to meet mysterious model Barry Berenson. Their stormy romance culminated in marriage the following year, a pivotal moment that broke down the walls of Perkins' monastic existence and opened a new chapter in his life. However, tragedy still lurks on the horizon. In a cruel twist of fate, Perkins passed away from AIDS-related pneumonia at the age of 60. Left behind was her widowed husband, Barry Berenson, who continued to navigate the turbulent waters of life with grace and resilience. But fate is always changing and must deal a more cruel blow. In a painful echo of tragedy, Berenson was killed in the horrific terrorist attacks of September 11, just nine years after Perkins passed away. The lives of Anthony Perkins and Barry Berenson, though marred by trials and tribulations, are a testament to the enduring power and resilience of love, especially in the face of the challenges posed by a uniform world. Homosexuality and the AIDS Epidemic Pose In the grand tapestry of life, Stephen Stucker's journey is a testament to courage and meaning. In 1984, 
he received the shocking news that he was diagnosed with HIV, becoming one of the first artists to boldly face the truth about his health condition. Undeterred, he shared his story and announced his positive test results in a candid interview, forever changing perceptions and sparking widespread awareness about HIV and AIDS. Stucker's revelations include his past struggles with drug addiction, shedding light on the potential risks that led to him contracting the virus. Despite facing adversity and setbacks, Stucker remained resolute and steadfast in his fight against the epidemic. His spirit and determination are like a beacon of hope amid the darkness of crisis. Tragically, however, Stucker's journey came to an untimely end in 1986, when he suffered virus-related complications at the age of 38. His life and sacrifice are more than just a story, about personal courage and determination, but also about strength and compassion within people. The fight against AIDS. Stephen Stucker's legacy resonates through the ages, a poignant reminder of the indomitable human spirit and the enduring power of compassion in the face of adversity. Paul Schnarr, a shining star in the entertainment industry, has made a profound mark through millions of memorable performances on both stage and screen over the years. Revered by colleagues and audiences alike for his talent and artistic dedication, he emerged as an outstanding figure in the field of art. However, amid the glitz and glamour, Paul Schnarr's private life remains a mystery. However, part of his personal life became the subject of public speculation and curiosity when details about his relationship with Jeremy Brett were revealed. During that time, Schnarr lived with the secret of his relationship, a burden he carried until his death in 1989 from complications related to AIDS at the age of 53. His passing hit him hard, marks a profound loss not only for his family and friends, but also for him. Also for the entire entertainment industry, as a profound reminder to those who have fought and sacrificed before this evil disease, Paul Schnarr's legacy endures as a testament to the power of his artistry and the tenacity of the human spirit, forever immortalized in the annals of entertainment history. Steve Rubel, famous for his creativity and zest for life, stood tall at Studio 54 in New York, a symbol of high entertainment culture in the late 1970s and early 1980s. As one of the organizers, Rubel played a key role in creating a vibrant and luxurious space that attracted the attention of the rich and famous of the era. Studio 54 became a place to see and be seen, where fun and excitement were anticipated and enjoyed. Steve Rubel is known for his ability to create a vibrant and exciting atmosphere, making every party there an unforgettable experience. However, Steve Rubel's life faced adversity when he was diagnosed HIV positive in 1985. The virus progressed to AIDS, and he died the following year from serious complications, including inflammation, liver, and septic shock. Although he is long gone, it is a tragic loss for a man who contributed to the glory and vitality of the disco and Studio 54 era. The story of Steve Rubel is a poignant reminder of the ups and downs of life on the fast track, a testament to the fleeting nature of fame and the indiscriminate spread of disease. Joel Crothers, the respected luminary of the silver screen, harbors a deep secret that only those close to him know his identity as a gay man. Despite his candor with close friends, family, and co-stars, he passionately protects this aspect of his life from the prying eyes of the media. 
In a twist of fate, Joel finds solace in the arms of Veleka Gray, his on-screen lover in a hit summer TV show. Their engagement, though kept private, whispers of a love that transcends the confines of the screen. Tragically, Joel's bright light was extinguished prematurely in 1985 at the age of 44, succumbing to the ravages of lymphoma associated with AIDS. His untimely death echoed through the corridors of the entertainment industry, casting a somber sadness among those who were enamored with his talent. The passing of Joel Crothers is an indelible reminder of the fragility of life and the urgent need to fight deadly diseases like AIDS. His legacy, a testament to both his artistic prowess and his courage in navigating the complexities of identity, continues to echo through the annals of Hollywood, a poignant story of triumph and tragedy. In the world of Hollywood spotlights and chords, Rock Hudson shines like a great picture, with more than 70 movies and many TV shows, engraving its mark in the hearts of audiences for more than four decades. He is a symbol of acting power, a historical milestone in the golden age of the film industry. In 1984, Rock Hudson was faced with a difficult wall when he received a heartbreaking diagnosis of HIV infection. Although his heart was heavy with grief, he chose to keep this dangerous disease a secret. But the traces of illness could not be hidden on his face. His pallor, weight loss, and unpredictable behavior made people question his health. Finally, in 1985, Rock Hudson's heartbreaking end came when he passed away from terrifying complications from AIDS, just days before he turned 60. His passing was a blow, a huge shock to the entire film industry, but also a bitter reminder of the dangers of this disease. Rock Hudson not only left behind a great legacy in the performing arts, but also opened a deeper window into the fight against AIDS. His sacrifice is a strong motivation, motivating many people to learn and contribute to the fight against this dangerous disease. On his career path, Roy Cohn was like a thorn in the American legal and political world, marking the appearance of a controversial and contradictory figure. He faced trials and difficulties, risking everything to retain power and fame. On his reputation board, Cohn is known as a ruling hero, an extremely talented consultant who has supported and represented highly influential individuals such as Donald Trump and Rupert Murdoch. However, Behind the resounding success, there is a darkness of personal secrets and unspoken rumors. Rumors and speculation about Khan's health status constantly spread, from the fact that he was gay to the fact that he had HIV since 1984. But Khan never admitted or went public about these facts. Instead, he tried to cover up and hide, continuing his life under the guise of arrogance and vanity. Finally, in 1985, Roy Khan left this life taking with him unspoken secrets and questions. His passing not only leaves a painful void in the legal and political community, but also opens a story full of hidden corners, about power and fame, about the constant struggle between the truth and concealment. Perry Ellis, a master in the American fashion world, built a solid name in the industry in the late 70s. However, his life faced traumatic and sad events, haunted. In 1981, Perry Ellis met Laughlin Barker, a partner in the fashion industry, and their professional and personal relationship began to blossom. But this happiness only lasted for a short time as the relationship tragically broke up after four years. In 1986, Barker faced cancer, and Perry Ellis' health began to decline significantly. He died in rapid decline from a haunting disease, viral encephalitis. Although there has been no official confirmation, many people believe that Ellis' illness may be related to complications from AIDS. The passing of Perry Ellis is not only a loss for the fashion industry, but also a painful reminder of the importance of health and self-care. It is a warning that, despite success and fame, when we lose our health, we lose everything. The video ends here.
Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you. In the fight against HIV AIDS, celebrities have been shining torches, fighting with a strong spirit and boundless patience. From music icons like Freddie Mercury to movie stars like Rock Hudson, they are not only icons of art, but also symbols of strength and hope in the face of difficult illness. Welcome back to Hourglass Channel. Find yourself a suitable sitting position to start your journey today. Denholm Elliott, the famous British actor, has left an indelible mark on both the silver and small screens in more than 125 films and television shows throughout his illustrious career. Despite being married twice, Denholm still kept the fact that she was bisexual a secret. Tragically, he battled HIV and finally succumbed to AIDS in 1992, at the age of 65, at his home on the island of Ibiza, Spain. His passing is not only a loss to the entertainment industry, but also a heavy blow to the entire arts industry. Denholm left behind an undeniable legacy, with iconic roles spanning from classic cinema to modern masterpieces. Not only is Denholm a talented actor, he also shows resilience and courage when facing life's challenges. The facts of his life, including his acceptance and battle with HIV AIDS, are a testament to the mental strength and determination of a man of great influence. Denholm Elliott is more than just a star. He was a beacon of strength and courage, illuminating the way for future generations both on and off screen. His journey serves as a reminder of the power of authenticity and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In 1954, on the brink of divorce, Robert Reed dropped a bombshell he was gay. Despite fathering a daughter with his estranged wife, Reed opted to bury his true identity, fearing its potential repercussions on his career. But Reed's life wasn't destined for smooth waters. In 1991, a cruel twist of fate struck when he was diagnosed with colon cancer. A mere few months later, he succumbed to the disease at the age of 59. Yet. Buried within his medical records lay another chilling revelation. Reed was HIV positive, a truth that many believed hastened his demise. The saga of Robert Reed is one of relentless struggle, veiled truths, and agonizing sacrifices. Despite the relentless onslaught of life's tribulations and the shadows of illness, Reed fought tooth and nail through every dark twist and turn. His battle, both against societal norms and physical afflictions, stands as a testament to the unyielding spirit of a man unwilling to surrender to the darkness. In the end, Robert Reed will be immortalized not just for his roles on screen, but for his unwavering courage in confronting his own truth, even as the world around him crumbled. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Born in Bratislava in 1951, Andrzej J. Nefila is more than just a figure skater. He is a frost giant, a symbol of passion and power. With three Olympic gold medals adorning her name, Nefila has etched her legacy into the annals of history with breathtaking performances that have captivated audiences around the world. He's not just a champion on the ice. He was the embodiment of perseverance and unrelenting determination. But in 1988, Nephila's illustrious career faced a new opponent leukemia caused by complications from HIV AIDS. Despite fighting hard, Nephila succumbed to the disease the following year, at the age of 38. His untimely death shocked the global sports community, leaving a seemingly empty void, like it can't be filled. In addition to her brilliant career on the ice, Nephila's personal life is also shrouded in pain. Rumors swirled about romances with male figure skaters, hinting at a life filled with inner turmoil and external pressures. With truths lurking beneath the surface, Nephila must grapple with the challenges and burdens of maintaining her integrity and honor. Andre J. Nephila, a sports legend, 
a man driven by insatiable passion and the price he paid for fame and fortune. Although she may have left this world, Nefela's name continues to shine brightly in the hearts of fans and the figure skating community around the world. Brad Davis, the Hollywood star, wasn't just famous for his rugged good looks and acting prowess, he was also celebrated as an icon of LGBTQ plus representation in cinema. He took on numerous groundbreaking roles portraying gay characters, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen with performances in films like Midnight Express and Carell. Despite his 15-year marriage to Susan, Brad Davis' friends and family consistently denied rumors of his homosexuality. However, Within the LGBTQ plus community, he became a symbol of inspiration and empowerment. But Brad Davis' life wasn't all red carpets and stage lights. He lived a rock and roll lifestyle, facing numerous challenges and hardships. At the age of 41, he battled a debilitating illness for six years, his health and life profoundly impacted. In the end, Brad Davis passed away in 1991, a victim of the gentle yet devastating embrace of HIV AIDS. His courage in portraying gay characters and his relentless battle with illness cemented his status as a true legend. Despite his struggles, Brad Davis will forever live on in the hearts of film lovers and the LGBTQ community. In the annals of music, Freddie Mercury is likened to a giant, a giant with a voice higher than the heavens. However, behind the glamorous facade of fame lies a secret story, whispered rumors, and a battle taking place in the shadows. Diagnosed with HIV in the tumultuous year of 1987, Freddie Mercury chose to hide his illness with a cloak of silence, masking his pain with a facade of bravado. But as the years passed and the darkness grew closer, the truth could no longer be denied. In the bleak year of 1991, the world sadly watched as one of its brightest stars was snuffed out by the cruel grip of AIDS. By his side, in those final agonizing moments, was Jim Hutton, a steadfast companion who shared both the joys and sorrows of Mercury's tumultuous life. Their bond, hidden from the prying eyes of the world, still burns fiercely in the darkness a beacon of love amid the encroaching darkness. Yet even in death, controversy swirls around Mercury's legacy like a storm. Accusations of silence and secrecy echo through the halls of memory, casting a shadow over the music legend's once untarnished reputation. But amid the chaos and noise, one truth remains unchangeable. Freddie Mercury, with his soaring voice and resilient spirit, transcended the mortal world to become an eternal symbol of freedom and acceptance. Acceptance towards the LGBTQ plus community and beyond. In the dazzling world of entertainment, Liberace reigns supreme his ivory keys a symphony of luxury and extravagance. But behind that flashy exterior lies a secret. In 1987, the world was stunned when news broke that Liberace died of AIDS. This revelation sent shockwaves throughout the entertainment industry and left his legions of fans reeling in disbelief. Famous for his dazzling performances and lavish lifestyle, Liberace kept his health problems a secret convincingly publicly admitting his battle with the deadly disease. Only his closest confidants and his personal physician knew of Liberace's situation, yet they chose to conceal the truth in silence, shielding it from the scrutiny of friends and family. But as the final curtain rises on Liberace's illustrious life, whispers of his hidden truth begin to emerge. Chris Adler, rumored to be his former lover, bravely stepped forward, revealing not only Liberace's battle with AIDS, 
but also his own tragic death from the same disease in 1990, just three years after Liberace died. Their intertwined fates are a poignant reminder of the AIDS epidemic, sparking a new urgency for awareness and prevention measures in society. In death, Liberace's legacy transcended the confines of the stage, becoming a symbol of resilience and a catalyst for change in the ongoing fight against HIV AIDS. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video. In the tapestry of courage and self-expression, Pedro Zamora's thread is vivid and bold. From an early age, he accepted his identity and gender, buoyed by the unwavering support of his family. At the age of 17, Zamora faced a formidable opponent, HIV. While others might have crumbled under the weight of such a diagnosis, Zamora chose a different path. Instead of surrendering to the cruel will of fate, he resolved to use his life as a beacon of education, illuminating the darkness of HIV AIDS. Across the country, Zamora embarked on a pilgrimage of enlightenment, sharing her story and disseminating important information about the disease. He has not only become an icon of the LGBTQ community, but also an educator and influencer, constantly raising awareness about HIV AIDS. But fate, always capricious, dealt Zamora a cruel hand. In 1994, he succumbed to the ravages of the disease, his indomitable spirit extinguished by the relentless progression of HIV-related complications. Yet even in death, Zamora's legacy lives on, etched into the collective consciousness of those he touched. His impact resonated far beyond his mortal years, resonating even in the highest echelons of power. President Bill Clinton himself also paid tribute to Zamora's contributions, reinforcing his key role in the fight against HIV AIDS. Although he passed away too soon, the soul of Pedro Zamora still exists, an eternal flame illuminating the path towards a world without the darkness of discrimination and ignorance. In the tapestry of fame and fortune, Anthony Perkins' life is a tumultuous journey woven by secrets and revelations. For years, he lived in darkness, his true self hidden from the world, his heart beating to a rhythm that only he could hear. But fate intervened in 1972 when Perkins happened to meet mysterious model Barry Berenson. Their stormy romance culminated in marriage the following year, a pivotal moment that broke down the walls of Perkins' monastic existence and opened a new chapter in his life. However, tragedy still lurks on the horizon. In a cruel twist of fate, Perkins passed away from AIDS-related pneumonia at the age of 60. Left behind was her widowed husband, Barry Berenson, who continued to navigate the turbulent waters of life with grace and resilience. But fate is always changing and must deal a more cruel blow. In a painful echo of tragedy, Berenson was killed in the horrific terrorist attacks of September 11, just nine years after Perkins passed away. The lives of Anthony Perkins and Barry Berenson, though marred by trials and tribulations, are a testament to the enduring power and resilience of love, especially in the face of the challenges posed by a uniform world. Homosexuality and the AIDS epidemic pose. In the grand tapestry of life, Stephen Stucker's journey is a testament to courage and meaning. In 1984, he received the shocking news that he was diagnosed with HIV, becoming one of the first artists to boldly face the truth about his health condition. Undeterred, he shared his story and announced his positive test results in a candid interview, forever changing perceptions and sparking widespread awareness about HIV and AIDS. 
Stucker's revelations include his past struggles with drug addiction, shedding light on the potential risks that led to him contracting the virus. Despite facing adversity and setbacks, Stucker remained resolute and steadfast in his fight against the epidemic. His spirit and determination are like a beacon of hope amid the darkness of crisis. Tragically, however, Stucker's journey came to an untimely end in 1986, when he suffered virus-related complications at the age of 38. His life and sacrifice are more than just a story, about personal courage and determination, but also about strength and compassion within people. The fight against AIDS. Stephen Stucker's legacy resonates through the ages, a poignant reminder of the indomitable human spirit and the enduring power of compassion in the face of adversity. Paul Schnarr, a shining star in the entertainment industry, has made a profound mark through millions of memorable performances on both stage and screen over the years. Revered by colleagues and audiences alike for his talent and artistic dedication, he emerged as an outstanding figure in the field of art. However, amid the glitz and glamour, Paul Schnarr's private life remains a mystery. However, part of his personal life became the subject of public speculation and curiosity when details about his relationship with Jeremy Brett were revealed. During that time, Schnarr lived with the secret of his relationship, a burden he carried until his death in 1989 from complications related to AIDS at the age of 53. His passing hit him hard, marks a profound loss not only for his family and friends, but also for him. Also for the entire entertainment industry, as a profound reminder to those who have fought and sacrificed before this evil disease, Paul Schnarr's legacy endures as a testament to the power of his artistry and the tenacity of the human spirit, forever immortalized in the annals of entertainment history.